Hi guys, my name is John. Welcome to my second video on Valorant Farm. Alright, so this video I'm going to talk more on controls. I mentioned what controls are. Controls are basically the what makes your your app interactable, from buttons to text to images to whatever it is. Those are controls. I'll talk about how the app in, um, hierarchy works: pages, layout, nested layout, nested layout, more nested layout controls. It makes up your app. Alright, let's go and start with my favorite layout is stack layout. Stack layout, I've talked about stack layout before. It arranges you in a straight line, either vertically or horizontally. By default, it's vertical. So, me living like this, <coughs> me living like it's going to be vertical, but I could change the orientation to horizontal. I don't want that now. Alright, so, uh, so there's a possibility that this is going to be more than. Okay, let's go. First layout is going to be label. My label text will be this is a label. And these are all properties of the label control. It has a font size attribute. We don't gonna put it at 40. Uh, what next should we have? A button. The button can have text. Sorry. gonna have uh, a date picker we have a time picker also and you can assume what this does already but I'm still gonna show you anyway then we have a slide I'm sorry what is this I have a slider uh, progress bar progress bar shows progress you can change the progress property from 1.0 to 1 so 0.5 should be half this should give you a class what is happening here activity indicator is visible true is enabled true and is running true so activity indicator shows you um, activity indicator why you have a background tax working either you're loading a page or you're downloading something okay not downloading download this should be progress bar but pretty much you get the point now you have your editor editor is more like the entry okay I didn't put entry sorry let me go and put entry here I'm gonna come out to entry entry had a property of placeholder this is an entry Alright, so you have an editor, it's more like the entry, but it supports multi line comment. Um, to do that, I have to give it a vertical options of fill and expand so you can expand to show what I'm doing. Alright, then we have your stepper, stepper increments and decrements values. So I'm gonna put maximum of 10, minimum of one an increment of two okay um, okay so this pretty much basic controls we're still gonna work on more as we go I want to start okay let to get multiple startup project right click on solution properties multiple startup project you can activate this start there should be no start okay then we're good to go Okay, I think we're, we're good here. Alright, so there's a native feel on the Windows phone, and there's a native feel on the Android. Uh, let me minimize this and show this. Alright, so stack layout is pretty much everything here. I should have given it the background just to know where it ends. Alright, the label, this is the label. This is an entry with the placeholder shown as a highlight. It accepts input. Button. 
I'm gonna handle events before this video runs out, but this is it now. And the date picker, I could pick a date, time, I could pick a time, slide of value. I can change. We're gonna handle the event, so no rush. This is my stepper. So the stepper is normally rigged to another control to show its value because the step on its own doesn't show value. Now this is my progress bar is set to is set to 0.5, so it's at this minimum. This should be like 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 1, 0, 0, 1. All right. Activity indicator it shows a loading icon indefinite. It doesn't end. You have to end it by yourself. Now this is my editor. Suppose multi line text. All right. Uh, I'm gonna show you that. All right, so multi line text. Now, the entry can't do this because the entry is just a straight line. What the entry will keep doing is truncating your text at the end. All right, that's how entry works. That's the difference here. So, let's go and sample how the Windows phone does it. This is an entry, this is a button. There are no events, we're gonna handle event. This is your date picker, Windows Phone, a time picker. So I have my slider value, stepper, progress bar. So this is the activity indicator for the Windows Phone, Microsoft does. Editor, same thing as this other one, so I'm not just gonna explain much. All right. So let's gonna handle events now. Uh, let's see an, an example where this okay where all of this fills your screen and is extra okay, let's do something this is now let's make it 50 or 60. now by default this is going to fill my screen and i'll have some of my controls entering my screen now to avoid that i wrap my stack layout in a scroll view a scroll view takes in just one child and that's one child is going to be stack layout, which in turn takes in every other thing. Okay, what have I done? Um, all right. So this, you see this in hand in, in play when I speak in. Now let's handle event for button. The property to handle event is there are pretty much a lot of events you can handle. Binding context change, child remove children. Okay, these are many many events. But the main event you need to handle a button click is the clicked event. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, God. Clicked. Uh, why is Mary Sharper not handling this for me? Alright. Okay, if you're wondering how I got here. When you create your event, Reshap will handle it for me, but you don't have it, so if you don't have it, let me know, assume you don't have it. So, click on the arrow on the main page, you get your default arrow in the back. Um, this is your c -sharp handling page for your main page. To handle the main page, we are going to use our label, so we have to give it a name. So, let's go and give our label a name. I'm going to call it label 1. In an actual app, don't label, don't name your controls this manner. This is pretty sloppy. All right. So for handling event, I'm going to change access the label one the text property. It's going to show me error because I need to save this page first. All right. This should be good. Close to button clicked. Okay. That's how you handle the event for a button. For a date picker, it's gonna be uh, date selected. I'm creating a new meta for date selected. I'm gonna use level one dot. I think I should just copy this value. I'm gonna use this a lot. So the event handler event argument is in this argument E. So I'm going to have to access the e property new date to, to string.
then for the time picker all right then slider should be value change i'm going to create a new handler there's my control new value dot string what else stepper okay so stepper value change let me create a new handler as well new value dot string dot string sounds like dr strange okay nothing funny there dr string dr strange all right let me go and start this Let's see how events are handled now. So this is just going to get you a breath because as we go on, we're going to get deeper and we need this prior basic knowledge to handle the deeper part. So pretty much you grab this first. Okay, we are good to go. All right, this is an entry. Okay, okay, we're not testing an entry, we're testing events. But apparently I like typing, so let's just go. All right, button. Okay, so this event is handled, button clicked. That was the text I put. All right. Then for dates to change, uh, it's changed date. So this is date time, full date time. You can also, choose the format of the date you want it could be in no time just date or it could be in wording and all that for slider value is updating the text five six seven eight nine android slider value is not this precise so you're gonna have to be a little bit tricky when handling event for stepper six seven nine okay so i put the increment for the stepper in threes so it's gonna go six Okay, I put two. I put two, not three. Sorry, my bad. This is your editor. I put everything in a scroll view, so okay, it doesn't even need a scroll view apparently. It didn't fill the screen. But for Android, it filled the screen. Yep. So it's in a scroll view now. Let's handle event for Android. Button, button clicked. For my date time. My slider value. Yep, not as precise as I said. For a stepper, for seven, nine, maximum is nine or ten. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so that pretty much sums up this this video. Hit like and subscribe for more and I'll be back to you in no time. Thank you.